this video, I'm going to walk you through the hand sign challenge for data security defined sharing rules. The final unit of this monster of a module. The hands on challenge says create a sharing rule for the project object, that project object that we just created. In most cases, only the record owner or users above the owner and the role hierarchy should see project records, right? That's what we did to define sharing rules based off of rural hierarchy. However, the training coordinator needs read only access to high priority project records. Create a custom pick field, pick list field on the project object. Say that 10 times fast. Name priority with the following values, high, medium, and low. Then create a criteria based sharing rule to share high priority records with a training coordinator. So we're going to first create a pick list field, which is not going to impact anything at all. But once we've created that pick list field, we can then create a sharing rule based off of the values in that pick list field. So that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start off by creating that a uh, custom field on the project object. So we're going to go into the object manager. We're going to go to the project object. And we're going to go to fields and relationships. And we're going to create a new field. And the value type is going to be pick list. And click next. Now the name is going to be priority. We'll put that in there. Okay. And we're going to, I'm just going to follow through here. Priority values, enter values, high, medium, and low. High, separated by a new line, medium, and low. So far, so good. Make the field visible to all profiles and add it to all page layouts. Could do that. So I'm going to click next. Visible to all profiles. And all page layouts. Cool. Now we're going to create a sharing rule for the project object. So now we're going to create a sharing rule for the project object. So we're going to go to sharing, sharing settings, objects, all the way down to project. Click that. Now we have here sharing rules, project sharing rules. We'll click new. The label could be anything you want. So you could type in anything you want, but I'm going to type in uh, training IP for high priority shares important projects with training coordinator. Okay, and the rule name should be share project records. The rule type is based on criteria. And then here goes the criteria. So the field is on the priority field. The operator is equals and the value is going to be high. So we're going to click that little icon, pull up the high, click insert selected. The way to read this would be if the priority field equals high, then who are we going to share it with? Training coordinator, roles, and we're going to go to training coordinator. And so that's who we're sharing it with. Now we have to figure out what access level we're going to give them. And that's read only. 
So just to recap, we've created a criteria. We've created, if that criteria is true, who does it then get shared with? And what access do they have? And click save. And yes, we're gonna receive an email notification upon completion, cool. Make sure organization wide defaults for the project object are set to private. Organization wide defaults are set to private, which they are. That should do it.